I was circling around my house just writing these lyrics back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I was circling around the house. I maybe circled around 10 times. Man, I really got my steps in writing that song. I got to tell you. Meet Michael Schott from Swansburg, North Carolina, just 13 and on a fast track as a singer-songwriter. He describes himself as Southern rock or country, and his most recent single caught the attention of some Nashville recording artists. The song starts with, been in the bar too long. The, the main line in the chorus is, every rooster needs his hen, but this rooster's feeling lonely again. That's, that's a good song. Um, that's a good line in the song, I think, and that's a, that's a, that's a special one. That's, that line specifically, if you had never heard the song before, you had to pick one line to describe the song, it would be that one. An old soul with a unique gift of storytelling. Nashville recording artist Tom Yankton took the song and young Michael to a recording studio in Arkansas, where they laid down the instrumental tracks along with Michael's voice. And a couple of weeks later, the text came in with the first raw mix. <laughs> <laughs> it was very, very cool to see Mikey's songs that he's written be performed by other people who are, like I said, world-class musicians, and um, just to hear that was, uh, it was cool, it just, it, it doesn't, it, do, it almost, it seems uh, otherworldly a little bit because he's, uh, it's like, hey, that's your song, <laughs> look how cool it sounds. Yeah, you know, it's funny, I never had a girlfriend, but I wrote that song. When looking back to the first big event, it was a fifth grade talent show where just three chords and a simple strumming pattern laid the foundation and the confidence to pursue music. It was a song that I wrote on um, a little rock in the middle of our pasture at our vacation home here in southwest Virginia in the mountains. And I was sitting on that rock, and I was looking up at our house, and um, just sitting there, seeing everyone talking, laughing, having a great time. It just reminded me how much love there is in my family, and you know that that means a lot to me. There was such a good story behind it, and everything he said about the song, uh, it meant something, and it wasn't just these words happen to rhyme, so I put them together. That. But then they brought us out for awards and they said, first place goes to Michael Shaw. And that was the moment when it was like, oh, hold on a second. The first chords were taught to Michael by a guy named Jim Lloyd of Lloyd's Barbershop in rural retreat, Virginia, at the young age of just 10. There, you'll get an Andy Griffith type feel where everyone's welcome and antique banjos cover the walls and there's a raw ensemble of jamming that's become commonplace. How could Jim Lloyd have known the effect of giving a little time to a 10-year-old and how his humble gesture would lead to doors opening and an immeasurable inspiration of songwriting? In July, Michael and his band were featured at the Rural Retreat Heritage Festival, just a stone's throw from the barbershop where it all began. In such a short amount of time, Michael has played open mics in Topsail Beach, Cedar Point, Swansboro, New Bern, and Beaufort. He's performed on PBS with his original Sweet Corn and Tobacco, and in late June, Michael had the opportunity of a lifetime performing at the Meteor Guitar Gallery in Bentonville, Arkansas. And it was a uh, benefit concert supporting organizations who help kids get out of human trafficking. Just absolute world-class musicians, uh, both with the instruments and their personalities and the way they interacted with Mikey. They were so welcoming and open and uh, made it a fun experience. 
It's hard to believe that Michael just turned 13, and he's only been playing and singing for three short years. When you ask him about the future, well, it's not as easy to answer as it would be for him to sit down and write a song. I think I underthink it sometimes, the fact that this could be a big thing for me. This could be a career. This could be something more than just a fun pastime. As long as he's happy playing music, I'm happy with, with that. It I don't, doesn't matter if he just plays just me and him in our, uh, at our house. It, if, that's, if that makes him happy and that's what he wants to do, then I'm, I, I, you know, I'm blessed to be able to have that opportunity. So. Every boy needs his girl this boy.